afternoon, boys and girls, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will be recommending my top three moderately priced fountain pen brands. Let's get into it. As you can notice, I'm wearing like a sick hat. It's because I actually was too lazy to fix my hair, so yeah, don't click away because I'm wearing a weird hat. Back, back to the video. My first recommendation, all of them are relatively the same, but I do have favorites, is Cross. I know this is not a fountain pen, but it is a cookie pen. Ballpoint, I'm pretty sure. Um, but the reason why I say Cross is because, you know when you see a fountain pen, they're like nice and shiny and stuff like that? Cross is a little bit, not inexpensive, but if you find the right pen, you'll get a good price, and you usually get a fairly good pen. When I first started writing, I used this pen, because first pen, right? I didn't wasn't ready for a fountain pen, so getting a cross fountain pen is a good idea because it's a little bit moderately priced and affordable. And yeah, the refills are everywhere because cross is actually really popular. I hope you can see it. <clears throat> My next recommendation is Schaefer. I had two Schaefer pens, but this is the only one I could find at the moment. And yes, it's a blue pen. It's got a medium tip. So it writes very well. With Shafir, they have this little grip thingy sometimes, but it writes very well. Since it's a medium tip, it flows very nicely. And if you don't know what a medium tip is, please click on the video that will be in the top right, left, right corner. Don't know my rights and lefts right now because it'd be my left, but top right corner and you will see what different fountain pens have and what you should and shouldn't do because some pens are very different and Shafir has really nice, this was my first ever fountain pen and it was a good starter. Not gonna lie, really good starter, really enjoy it. <clears throat> it's empty right now because I'm using another fountain pen and that'll be the next recommendation. My last fountain pen recommendation, as you saw in the video that I posted previously about fountain pens, was my Lamy Safari, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, but it's really nice because for most Lamy pens, they have this little grooves here. It's great for beginners because you put your fingers just like a pencil and it gives you the perfect, like not angle, but perfect hand technique to write. And also it really helps teach. It flows very well. Lamy has a wide variety of ink colors too. It looks very pristine, nice. I got the white, obviously. Um, it flows super nice. This is a fine tip. I really enjoy fine tips. If you are writing on less expensive paper, then I would recommend fine to extra fine because it'll be less bleed. But yeah. Also, my Lamy has an ink window. It's cool to see what color ink. Right now I have a beautiful orange. It's limited edition. Forget what the name is, but it's really nice. Like Lamy flows nice, has the beginner thing here so even if you're not a beginner it's still nice because you still get to use it properly but it ma just makes it easier right and also for the Lamy pen I've also noticed that I haven't written with my Lamy pen let's say for three days I don't need to worry about it because it will still flow nicely and I'm pretty sure it won't clot up and dry up like all most pens do so you can leave this pen for a couple days and it'll still write perfectly fine. I hope you boys and girls have enjoyed this video. It's a little bit short, but it's recommendations, right? If you want to see the other video, as I said, it was going to be in the top right at the time, but it will definitely be in the link. To, it, it'll be a link in the description. Hope you boys and girls enjoy. Leave a like, dislike if you don't like it. Comment if you want. Subscribe if you love this hat, because I do too. And peace out.